Oh. Oh, that's a red arm. Something. Oh my god, this is so far. I have to return something that, um, at Whole Foods. And every time I go to Whole Foods, I gotta get something. Something to eat. Ew, this person is getting blocked. What a creep. Love your podcast, with Bunny. Thank you. This is how I like my wings. Little as fuck. That one's kind of bigger. This is how I really like my wings. Little as fuck. I don't like big fat ass for my wings. Yeah, I normally do get all flats, but they didn't have no flats, so. These are Korean. I could take the taste of goju jong. Delicious. If you were to get married, what would you go for your honeymoon? I don't know. Really, I don't. How are you liking the gloomy weather? I actually like them. I love gloomy weather. But I'm so confused. I have so much stuff to do today. I'm trying to be all productive and shit. I'll leave the house three hours before I'm supposed to go to this appointment. And then shit open. Like, I went to the tailors, picked up all my stuff. <laughs> Somebody said, damn, little lady. <laughs> I'm crying. But, I went to the cleaners. Went to go pick up everything I got tailored. Because I got to tailor all my clothes. And I took two more pants to get tailored. And they're like, oh no, they're not here till tomorrow. I was like, alright. So I'm like, let me go get a car wash. That will kill an hour. And go to the car wash. They're not open, but they say they're open. So I'm like, what the hell is going on today? And I was like, well let me go tan or something. Let me do something productive. Because I'm going to Japan. And I'm trying to be cute out there. I'm trying to look like I'm sun-kissed, tanned up. I can't tan because I'm going to a laser appointment. <clears throat> then I'm like, I will go home. But I know myself. I'll just cancel the appointment. And the place I go is so irritating. If I cancel the appointment, they charge me half of the whole amount. So that's mad annoying. Why my filter came off?
Period, bitch. So now, I gotta wait till Monday. Is bikini laser worth it? Yeah. Hundred percent. Laser in general is hundred percent worth it. Take the filter off. No. I'm not happy with my skin right now. So I'm gonna keep it on. Hi, rhythm. Vlog for Japan. Yeah. Hola, amiga. <laughs> Let me say, it's 11 in the morning. You eat wings. <laughs> I know. I'm eating a whole plate right now. I know. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like breakfast food. Like, I do if it's a whole thing, but no. someone said that's crazy. I had to go to your page to join your live. We don't show on the main homepage. Yeah, I be sharing about it on everything. I'm not surprised. Oh. Hard ass kale stems. They could have cooked that longer. But the kale is good though, but those stems were hard as hell. Mm. Your views are down too, I know. All my shit down. Honestly, I kind of don't give a fuck. I'm gonna be honest. I'm like very over social media in general. Like, I just don't care. I'm be real. People who are reporting me for no reason, because they're haters. And I fucked my shit up, I think. <clears throat> Damn, they put a little cayenne pepper on this bitch. As long as the pod is doing good, I really don't give a fuck. That's them, bro. Start going live on TikTok. Every time I go live on TikTok, they report it, report it, report it, and then I get in trouble for nothing. Last time I got on there because I was like, let me just give it a try. Bro, they flagged me because they said I was trying to promote something or something. They were like trying to promote some. I've never seen the notification before. It was like trying to promote something. I was like, I'm not promoting anything. Like, I didn't promote anything. I was literally telling a story. So they just, TikTok just so far against me. Even when I've 
tries to get verified on tiktok through like agencies because like as you guys know like y'all see people that are like verified and stuff a lot of times people get verified because they have like agencies that have the connects with tiktok so like i have a bunch of friends that are like um like professional athletes and stuff like big professional athletes who who don't even use their tiktoks but obviously they can get verified just to get verified so like i had two of them be like like fill out my paper to get me verified on tiktok they sent it in and tiktok was like oh no um uh, we're not gonna verify her because too many people be reporting her page and because um like anything like anything like literally haters so yeah it is what it is i can't even use songs in tiktok you know how when you use the um like the music on a tiktok and it has a curse word in it but it's music it's just music that everybody else is using everybody else could use the song the song but if i use the song with a curse word they'll flag it i can't even i can't even use the, the trending music but everybody else can i don't even give a fuck like literally i don't give a fuck Weren't you the one that was crying on a talk show about your skin color? I was crying on my show about a conversation. Yes, that's me, babe. I'm sure you've cried about your skin color before, too. The book. Insecure ass bitches. I genuinely just feel like people are so fucking insecure that they attack me for the same shit when really it's you it's you with the internalized issues babe that's why you're you're acting out the way you're acting out take the belt off now oh no do you ever get your more sensitivity your sensitivity out of control are they trying to figure that out no, I still have sensory issues. Um, but they are a little bit under control. But I know if I go get dental work, which I have to do, they're going to like spike back up. can't wait to sub to y'all patreon you guys definitely should for sure bro i'm killing time What you doing? Put up on the side of the road. Killing time. Trying to kill time for this appointment. <sighs> I really don't feel like going to this damn appointment, but I like I feel like they they missed a part on my laser last time. So like, okay, so you know how the coochie is like a V or whatever? They missed like a strip at the top. So now there's like literally a, sh a small line of hair growing on my cooter and I'm just like I'm paying you all this money and you're missing all of this stuff like it's just So 
some of you say your face got so slim. I know my face got slim because I had to do masseter Botox for the pain in my jaw because of the TMJ that I now have due to the bad dental work that I got at Smile Dental Center 32 that ruined my life, gave me permanent nerve damage, and gave me sensory issues forever. So it's affected my whole life in many, many ways, including my appearance. I don't know, I'm just over it. What is the lip surgery you getting called? I want to get a lip lift. So like basically what they do is they make a small incision right here. And then they like put your lip up a little like this. And the reason why I want to get it is because like lip filler doesn't last on me like at all. And I'm just, I don't, I don't like needles. I don't like getting it. So a couple of my friends got the lip lift. I didn't even know. So, um yeah i'm gonna probably do that at the end of the year or something but i'm just the filler is not it don't work for my body it, i metabolism way too quick Some said, you seem so happy. I love that for you. I'm not. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not not happy. I guess. What do you think is a pointless surgery? Oh, a pointless surgery. I don't know. I don't, I don't think anything is pointless if you want it, like if that's what you want it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> is their scarring well healed? I read about the discoloration. Yeah, so both of, they, both of them don't really have scars at all. I also scar really, really well, so I'm not super concerned about the scarring because all of my scars have healed well. If you are somebody who scars dark or scars like a keloid, then no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Get my lashes done, bro. Would you do TV, TV again? The only show that I want to ever do is Survivor. <laughs> I want to go on Survivor so bad just to see if I could do it. Honestly, like personally, I feel like I would be good. Like you know, like the only thing I would kind of be concerned about is like you know people be. I think that I'm the type of person that you either love or you either hate. So like if i go on survivor it's a risk because it's like everybody could love me or everybody could hate me and you know i don't know i would also want to like super 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 get in shape so that if i go on i'm just like killing challenges you get what i mean also i'm not a disloyal person so i feel like that might be a problem for me like you know how like in survivor a big part of the game is being able to blindside people lie and all this stuff but i don't like lying and i don't like i don't like like not being loyal to people so for me when i think about it i'm like could i do it i just want to try you know try i mean what's the worst that could happen i lose i go home i get a little sick so yeah <laughs> all right bye guys i gotta go